Well, that's the two big towers of yellow. More of a Burj Khalifa there, the last one. Wait for some serious tapping. Those future matters not leaving anything over there. Look at that, every over is just above 15. That's how they've started their innings. Look at that Pakistan supermarket. All low rises going in there. So, 105 runs required from 108 deliveries. I think Abdullah Azhar realizing he needs to bring out his weapon for Zan Raja, all those googlies. Well, it will be an epic battle for Zan Raja against Ansar Khan. Ansar Khan certainly likes to hit the spinners and the premier bowler for Pakistan Supermarket is out there to bowl against the big machine, run machine, Ansar Khan. He's got six wickets with the average of 14 and a half. An economy of 7.9, which is very decent. Both that googlies and top spin and leg spin. He does everything, which is written in the textbook of cricket. Yes, and we've seen his last performance. He picked up that four wicket all there. So we know what he's capable of. But Ansar Khan and Rohan Mustafa. There's no stopping them today. They know how important getting to the final is. They realize how important winning that coveted cup of the 20th Bukhater League. 2022 is for them. There you go. For Zahm Raja to Ansar Khan. Ooh, the slip is in, which means the attack is on. The first delivery was slightly tempting there. He doesn't seem to be okay with that front up. For Zahm Raja, who's just won the Imani fragrance contest between Aryan, uh, Ali Shan Sharf and him. Yes, he can flip those bottles. That's why he's a very good spinner there. He can flip those deliveries as well. Oh, big googly coming in immediately on a second delivery. Surprised everyone, includes Ansar Khan and the keeper. That's the flip googly we're talking about. Hassan Raj has practiced too many of them today. Again, he's going to produce that wicket for Pakistan Supermarket, hopefully. Yeah, just in case he didn't practice that, we made him practice. Look at the googly. Perfect. Well, Ansar was having no answer to it. And against a left-hander, there'll be a plenty of googlies. Watch out, Rohan Mustafa, for this man. Switch it and straight to Kamaraman. Uh, yeah. That's how you need to do it. Rohan, watching him over the years, knows that whenever there's a quality spinner, that's what he does. He's so good at the sweep shots. And I think we have very few who plays those sweep shots cleanly in the region because of the shorter formats. We have a lot of shorter formats when the sweep shot is clearly for the big formats. It's definitely. And look at that. Hassan Raja is putting an absolute good over here so far. And that is cut away. Will go through the field up, but again, big chase there for Afridi. It will pick up two runs quite comfortably there. Well, the two runs has included. This over seems to be very decent, and we'll go for the sideline interviews with Ahmed Khwaja once again. Thank you very much, Sharjeel and Abid. I'm here at the sideline with Adil Mirza, the owner of Future Mattress. Adil Bhai, 41 for none. Uh, chasing 144, I think it's slightly above what you wanted to chase, but so far, Rohan Mustafa, the captain, is batting beautifully. Yeah, actually, when you play the semi final, it's always a tough game. Uh, it, it really doesn't matter that uh, you are chasing the small total or the higher total. Uh, the pressure for the semi final is altogether different when you're playing the cricket. So, 141, it's a, it's a decent score to chase in semi final. But luckily, Rohan Mustafa is playing so well that uh, I think we'll be able to chill, chill it down easily. Yeah? So you already had a huge side with loaded full of superstars, but then you made even bigger signings, three big signings, Ansar Khan, Haider Ali and Abdul Ghaffar. What was the thinking behind that? I mean, you know, if, uh, if the UAE cricket uh, is like that. You don't develop your plays, you don't win the tournaments. And, you know, Alhamdulillah, with the grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I'm, uh, I'm, I, I'm one of those teams 
to hire the sheer talent. It really doesn't matter they are coming from Pakistan, India or the, the local uh, groom boys. Yeah? So we have a system in which we see B grade cricket, A grade cricket, cricket the best performance, uh, the best performance from last three to four months and then we contact them and we offer them the contract. So this was the, the same thing. We sat down me, Rohan and our managers who handled the cricket on my behalf with Rohan and everything. So we sat down, we say, we had a discussion that uh, Ansar's team is not playing at the moment, so why not to take his services for three to four months? So this is it. Of course, uh, like you said, very ambitious to scout the local talent and the imported talent. We know all about your brands and you like to enroll your teams for promotion of the product and all that. But a personal ambition, what is the personal thing that you achieve uh, building the team and competing in CBFS tournaments? I mean, this is, this is all about uh, your liking and disliking. I was uh, playing the cricket since my childhood in Pakistan. The, uh, I, I born in the city of Karachi. You know about Karachi uh, all over Pakistan. The, when the child grows up, the only play is uh, cricket. So I, I was very fond of playing cricket. I played the uh, district level in, uh, in Karachi. Then I played under 19 in Karachi. Then I moved to Australia. So cricket was always my passion. When I came to the UAE, I joined Sharjah Club as a player. Then uh, they closed and then I established my own uh, club in name of my one of the companies, Phoenix Medicines. Last two years, uh, I established Future Matters, so I changed the name of, uh, to the Future Matters to get some uh, hype for the name as well, to introduce the, the new business to the UAE market. I'm very fond of cricket, even, even someday, like, of course, I'm 40 now, yeah? So even if I stop playing, I will run the team. Yeah. Well, you did mention about playing. You were part of the tournament, a part of the active roster in the Ramadan T20 in S10. But we haven't seen you in, seen you in action in the Bukhate so far. Are you recovering from an injury, or what's the game plan? Uh, no, I'm not. Uh, I'm, I'm not injured at all. It's just you know the heavy load of work. Heavy load of work. You you work nine, ten hours every day, and then you are not fully prepared. And you know, as you said, I'm hiring the A-class boys into my team, so I don't want to disturb them with the 11th player who who is tired. So sometimes I play, sometimes I don't, but this Bukhatir I did not play, but the T10 I'm going to play. Yeah? And what is in store for the future of Future Matters and Adil Mirza? Oh, I mean, it's, uh, I mean, uh, I would take it very simply, step by step. The players are there, some people, uh, some players would leave for the better opportunities. I will hire the new players, I'm here, I'm not going anywhere. I will play all the tournaments, all A division and class tournaments. I don't want to play Simon cricket anymore. I want to play uh, play the cricket like the Sharjah Stadium, Dubai Sports City, Abu Dhabi Zayed Stadium. And of course, n not to forget, now you have 6-7 uh, world-class uh, rounds for the A division cricket and Ajman. So I'm here, I'm here, I'll give it all, I'll give it all. I'll support the councils, council support us back. And uh, we support the cricket to the UAE. Well, if you want to get in touch with this man, if you want to build your cricket, he is the man to reach out to Adil Mirza of Future Mattress. Always a wonderful conversation. Let's head back to the com box. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your time. Well, a, lo a lovely chat there with uh, the owner of Future Mattress, Mr. Adil Mirza. With his, his passions, his, his love for the game. What a great personality. A great human being. It's an active part of every tournament of the Sharjah Cricket Council. And this one flicked away from Ansar Khan, will make it to the boundary. So he's playing a good innings, supporting that good innings with Arun Mustafa. 56 runs partnership has come in between the two of them. Well, that was a loose now, a full toss to this big man. It's a certainly not an ideal delivery. You give him full toss, he'll whack you. That was the least punishment he's given to the bowler for that full toss delivery. Abdullah Hassar seems to be running out of the options. He's already used all his four bowlers. We are in yet into that four over, fourth over by the, by the way. Oh, that's Matt. That's picked up. That is onto the roof. Oh, Jeevan, if you bowl to answer Khan that way, that's the only result you will get out of it. Giving him that loose upper delivery, it's easier for him to smack there. So future matters playing beautifully there. They are in that rush to get those runs and move on to the next stage of the game. Look at that delivery. Up is there and picked up really well by Ansar Khan into the stands. 
and that was a big shot coming in from the big man now he's also joining the party and there is you can see a conversation going on with a new ball has been brought in the senior member of Pakistan supermarket are really having a conference there to understand how to get back into the game the game is not over here all they need to do is pick up these two wickets as soon as you can just letting Ansar Khan stay on the crease and Rohan Mustafa as well. It's complete destruction for Pakistan supermarket that will come in. 62 of 23 deliveries, 82 required of 98. Jeevan, 4 and 6 to his name. And a wide down the leg side. Not an ideal scenario for any bowler. <coughs> well, you're just entering there in the line. Well... Hunting for the patch of Ansar Khan is not a good idea. Oh yes, anything coming onto his pads is going to see the daylight of the boundary. Ansar Khan needs to be very particular about how he's plotting and Jeevan might come in to the offside, to the, towards the off stick now. You can see the struggle, struggle on the Pakistan supermarket feeling face. And again on the pads, it's been driven away, there will be a fielder. Thirteen runs have come in in this over so far. And it's all going down a wire for Pakistan Supermarket. Not realizing the blizzard ahead of them, Rohan Mustafa and Ansar Khan. Oh absolutely, Rohan Mustafa knows uh, to play these knockouts better than any of the others. What he does is he attacks the opponent at the start to so keep them on a back foot because of doing so great shot. Beautiful shot from Rohan Mustafa right into the center of the two fielder. And great shot from the blade of Rohan Mustafa. He just found that gap and punted it away between both the fielders. There was a small gap between them. They were close by. But he found that. That's true in the base. 17 runs over. Comes to an end. Future matches 68 for no loss after four.